Okay, we're going to look at creating a detail, adding detail components and annotation for production drawings. So I'm sitting at a wall section, I'm going to create a callout uh, detail reference of the roof detail. And we'll edit that to, yeah, we'll leave it at 1 to 10 and turn it to fine. I've already got my line weights off, but I'm going to turn them back on just to have a look. You can see with the line weights on, the seam between the upper parapet wall and the lower wall uh, is visible. And to change that, I go to the uh, view mode, or pardon me, modify tab, and I'm going to click on join. I'm going to join the upper wall to the lower wall. And as you see now, that seam is gone, and we uh, have it reading more independently. We can do the same thing with the parapet and the roof. I choose the roof and the parapet, and it has edited that out, which reads uh, very well. Uh, it's not perfect in that the gypsum board from up here got truncated. So if you're not happy for any reason with uh, how things join, you can certainly unjoin them. I'll just pick the two components again. Um, oops, it unjoined that top parapet from everything, so I'll rejoin that with the lower wall because I liked how that read. But if I didn't like how that roof joined in, so we're going to do it a different way that edits just the detail component. So to do that, I go to the View tab and choose Cut Profile. So I'm going to cut the profile. First I'll turn off the line weights. And in cutting the profile, uh, we'll do one thing at a time. This is the single ply roof membrane on top. So if I want to cut that profile, I select it. And then I'm going to draw, it's set up to line. I'm going to draw a line to truncate it and hit Escape. The line just terminates and the arrow will indicate which side we keep. So I'm going to click on that arrow because I want to keep the right side. You'll see and lose the left side so I hit check and it's gone. And we're going to repeat that so I just hit enter. Turn off the line weights. Cut profile and this time I'm going to uh, change the uh, roof board here. And again I'm in the line command so I'm just terminating it at the parapet face and I escape until I'm out of the drawing command and then I just flip the arrow and say OK and continue that with the top tapered insulation and you can see where its limitation is there escape escape flip the arrow finish it and one more time line line and done. So now I like that better. Um, that was better than joining because it kept my gypsum board intact. My entire parapet roof is the way I want it to be. Um, you can use a, a wood parapet if the contractor desires, but since we're using steel stud inside, we might as well use steel stud on the parapet. We could edit this wall to have a narrower parapet, a narrower steel stud up here, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. Now I'm going to uh, draw in the AVB, which is not, we even if we made it part of our wall assembly, it doesn't show up. So we're going to draw in a detail line. So I go to my annotate mode and pick detail line. And I want you to see under their list of lines uh, what they've got. You can see I have added a new line type called air vapor barrier uh, that we can use to draw with. Um, the uh, Let's just pick on that. I can show you how to edit that in a minute. But I'll zoom in here and start a point just above the roof board and draw this in. So this is like any CAD software. I'm just drawing in a line. And so there it is. That's a dashed line. If I turn my line weights back on, um, it's it's visible, but it's not really noticeable. You can see we've got some inner heavy lines that we may want to deal with later. So that was one way to do it using a detail line under the annotate tab, but I'm going to undo that. And an, another one, there, another way to do it is to bring it in as a component. Um, and what I saw uh, in 
reviewing the Autodesk tutorials and I'll just save this drawing and go to that step 10 tutorial is uh, I liked this uh, form of line creating the air vapor barrier. It's a very noticeable type of line and so I like it. It's not in my original drawing so I'm simply going to highlight it one time and copy and paste that. So uh, I can go to my clipboard and copy paste. Uh, I don't see it there so I'm just going to do control C for copy and I'm going to flip back to my drawing now and just over anywhere I'm going to control V for insert and that line will come in here and you can see now if I click on it it's a thermal protection uh, moisture barrier and that's fine so I can edit that if I want I like the type of line that it is uh, what I'm going to do is just rename it uh, it's fine as a moisture barrier but uh, I'm going to rename it as an air vapor barrier uh, I want to designate it for that use. Air vapor barrier. Okay, so now we have that as a detail component. We can delete that later, but let's go ahead and put it in. So for a detail component, uh, we go. We're still under the annotate tab. Go into component, and you can see we have choices here. I'm going to choose detail component, and that's uh, where we look. And you can see we had. Um, there are brick components in here which I've loaded and I'll show you later. There's that steel beam that was in default in the drawing and here is now our air vapor barrier. So I click on that and I'm going to draw that air vapor barrier in. I'll shut off the line weights first and I'm going to start right here. We can adjust its exact position later. And it runs across the roof board uh, underneath the parapet and down uh, you can see it there. Okay, we have to put it in one at a time, so I'll start over with the next piece from the top to the bottom. And on the bottom line, I can go outside the viewport because it'll only show there. And now you can see even at a distance, even without the line weights on, that AVB really, really shows up. Uh, I'm going to turn my line weights on just to make sure I can see it clearly. And when I turn them on, uh, that's not bad. This could perhaps be up just a bit. So I'll visually just adjust that. And I like the way it reads here. So it's visible all, all the way along. I can get rid of the one I pasted in. But that's one way to get uh, entities in. And I, I uh, normally we use just a dash line, but I think uh, the importance of the air vapor barrier, this is not a bad way to go.